Hi guys, so uh, Matt Easton here, Scholar Gladiatore. Whenever I do uh, videos talking about maces, and I'm trying to get across the idea that this is a specialised armoured fighting weapon, uh, something in a lot of the comments that always comes back is go is that people go, oh well, you know, but you know, if you hit an unarmoured person with it, it would clearly do lots of damage. Well, yes, if you hit someone with any heavy object, clearly it's going to do lots of damage. The point I've been trying to get across is that it is in no way designed for hitting unarmoured people. It is a weapon that's entirely specialised to hitting armoured people. Clearly, as a piece of metal with a heavy head, if I hit someone in the head with it, or in the, any part of their skeleton with it, or even sometimes even in the stomach with it, it is going to do internal damage, external damage, all kinds of damage. But you could say that of any heavy object, okay? I could hit someone, I could hit someone with this, okay? And yeah, oh, it will do external damage. It might break their bones. It might cause internal bleeding. Yes, of course, it's a heavy object. If I smash someone in the head with this, probably they're going to be quite badly injured. If I hit someone in the head with this, yes, they'll be badly injured. If indeed, I hit someone in the head with this, they'll be badly injured, and in fact, I suspect that they'll be even worse injured if I hit them in the head with a spade, okay? My point in these videos is that whilst the mace, of course, does damage, or would do damage to an unarmoured person, to their flesh and their bones and all uh, bits of their body, so would any other heavy object that you hit someone with. The point is they're not specialised to cause injury, to an unarmed person. They're specialised to cause injury to an armoured person. They're there to, um, to cause injury through armour, they're there to break armour, to damage armour in various ways that either makes it not function correctly anymore or actually physically breaks it so it starts to fall apart or drives the armour into the person's body underneath um, or it wounds them by, um, by piercing or denting in the plate so it actually sticks in the person slightly. My point is that against an unarmoured person the mace is really no better than any other object which has a heavy object at the end of a lever. It's not in any way specialised for hitting unarmoured people. Unlike this, okay? This will do huge amounts more damage to an unarmoured person because it's got two sharp edges, it's got a sharp point, and it moves very quickly, okay? A mace moves slowly and is blunt. So there we go. My basic point has always been any heavy bludgeoning object, of course, you can put down unarmoured people with it, but the mace and the warhammer are specifically designed to deal with armour. The sword is designed from the outset to deal primarily with unarmoured people, and it's only really in the 14th and 15th centuries and, and, and uh, bit after that, that we start, start to see swords adapt their design so that they can also be useful against people in armour. They're never really specialised armoured fighting weapons, except with a few exceptions, maybe like the S-Stock, which I'll talk about in a different video. But, but you know, they maybe get more pointy and more stiff um, and, and things like this that enable you to maybe deal with an armoured opponent a bit better, but they are fundamentally weapons which from the beginning were designed to deal with unarmoured people and cut them up and run them through, okay, which you can't do with a fully plated person very easily at all. To use a sword against a person in full plate armour is quite challenging and that's when the mace and the warhammer and the poleaxe and the flail and weapons like this really come into their own because they can do things to the armoured person uh, more effectively than a sword can. Okay, cheers.